had or is what? Stinky. It's stinky beaches. Which I did not realize this is a real thing, though, that it's like seaweed season or and all, it all washes up and it makes it stink like dead fish or something. From miles away. From miles away. But I get that. Like, think about, like, a feedlot. I lived, like, a mile from a feedlot when I was a kid. And, oh, and the wind's gross. just right. The wind's just right. You can smell it. Is it, ah. it well, is a feedlot worse than a chicken coop? I feel like a feedlot, though, like that smell in the morning with the sunrise just kind of gets you going, right? A little no. cup of coffee? No. You're ready to tackle it's not the like day. my dad smells like money. No, it doesn't. It <laughs> he stinks. says it smells like money. <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> Some people, I think, probably, yeah. what would be the worst for, to me is if you're, let's say, a kid and you grow up mm-hmm. and you, ha- you grow up with that smell. Right. All the time you smell it, right? And you're like, I cannot wait to get away from the smell. So you go and you spread your wings and you fly. Okay. And you go to wherever, big city, and you don't ever smell the smell again. But then when you come home and you smell it, you're like, oh, my God, I miss this smell. I wonder if that happens. Maybe. but It's you like, like a song. Like a song will take you back to a, a time. You right. know what I mean? Are you saying like if you lived in Mexico where the stinky beach is? Mm-hmm. Like if you would do that? I don't know. Possibly. Tammy now joins us on the Tracy's Collision Cam showing off the Jeez. sun. Oh, my She's goodness. She's got the shades on. How beautiful. Yeah. Tammy, where are you in Mexico? I am in Riviera Maya. Now, Ooh. correct me if I'm wrong, but over your shoulder, can we see the ocean? Is that the ocean back there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I need another vacation. And we're hoping that there's no stank. Can you smell the seaweed? Is there any kind of a seaweed stank there? No, there's no seaweed. Were you worried about that? I don't know if you uh, if you caught us talking about it. We had some listeners on yeah. in Mexico, and they had a terrible experience. Yeah, I was worried because I've been following the Facebook page of the resort we're at, and uh, a couple months ago, they were having a big problem with it. But uh, we've awesome. seen a little bit, but nothing. It's been, it's been awesome. Is Water's there- been clear. Is there any way to, like, know? You know what I mean? Or is it just random when it happens? I think they have a seaweed seaweed season, per se. That's what I said, yeah. (laughs) Yeah, and so it just depends on the winds. and But I think it's normally bad in, like, June, July. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tammy, what are you doing there? Uh, It's my son's graduation present. Oh, no way. From high school or college or what? High school. High school. Dude, that's what I'm going to do. Just Man. give my kids yeah. trips as gifts so then I get to go. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> yeah, I Brilliant. wasn't supposed to get to go because my daughter went to Hawaii for hers and it was just me and her and my mom. Mm-hmm. But I talked my son into it, so. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Is it, now, is it just you and your son or is there more people there no. in the family? My husband's here also. He is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, that sounds like a great time. What do you have planned while you're there? Just enjoy the sun and the beach? Well, unfortunately, we leave today. We've been here for about a week, so. You have. Yeah. Was this his, I- was this his, his idea to go to Mexico, or is this something that you're like, oh, I've always wanted to go to Mexico, so how does that sound, son? Uh, we were in Mexico about three years ago, mm-hmm. and so he loved it so much he wanted to come back. Plus, yeah. he turned 18. I was just uh, going to say, I guarantee it's... The day it's, before we yeah. left. Okay. So that was another reason. <laughs> right, right. Well, I don't understand that. Does that mean, can he drink he down there drink. at 18? He yeah. can drink in Mexico, yeah. No yeah. When way. you're 18, yep. Yeah. That's uh, funny. Yeah. Are, are you like me? When I go on vacations to wherever, I, I always say, God, how do I live here? Like, have you guys... Do you think that at all, or is that just me? If I could live here? Yeah, but are you ready to come home to Nebraska, or could you see yourself living in Mexico? Uh, I couldn't see myself living in Mexico. No? Like, the resorts are very different than uh, where you would actually live. In right. the slums. You'd be in the slums, wouldn't you? <laughs> yep. <laughs> uh. Well, I tell you what, Tammy, thank you for jumping on here and enjoy your last day down in uh, in Mexico. How did we know that she was, was she watching this yeah, morning? she said she was in Mexico. Oh, yeah, I've been watching every day. That is crazy That's to me. That's awesome. You just mi- you miss Nebraska or what? We appreciate you watching while you're down there. I miss you guys. Oh. You guys are great. You make me laugh. You're Tammy, so you're the best. Thank you for spending a little time with us this morning and, yeah. and uh, have safe travels home, okay? All right, thank you. All right, now, we'll see you later. Right. TV isn't an option for them. Join them on the, the Tracy's Collision Camp.
4343 O Street, Tammy. It's where you can drop off the tequila when you bring it back. <laughs> okay, <laughs> we'll do. I'll see if I can grab you some goodies. A lime as well. <laughs> <laughs> I love tequila, but it makes me crazy. Thanks, you Tammy. Too. Would you ever do that? Yeah, bye. bye. Would I or have I? Oh, my God, you've done the worm. No, but no, but I've done a minnow shot in the Ozarks. What's a minnow shot? You literally Just take you a think. shot with a minnow in it. Oh, why would you do that? So you swallow a fish. You get drunk and it's fun. Then you would do a worm. Would I do a the worm? What does a worm look like? I don't really like. Worms. It's in the bottle of a tequila bottle. So you don't even eat it. It's just infused. It's it's the last thing. Like when you finish off the bottle, you're supposed to take the worm in the shot. Yeah. I would do it. Just I mean, if I had a few shots before, I would do it. Yeah. There's not a lot. You're pretty much a party girl, aren't you? Yeah, slide right down. I mean, not now. You're a mom <laughs> now, but still slash party girl. But back in the day, I bet they'd get you to do anything. I think it's... Pretty much. I think inside of her, she could go back to her old ways, you know? In, what? It's an... Oh, yeah. Like, it's... You're right. There's still she part of her. She could tap into it. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm. If need to be. Um, if need to be. I'm not as dangerous now. Like, if it's, like, something that's going to, like, hurt my health, potentially, or... Right. Hurt my body, I will not. I, yeah. I can never see myself doing anything like that anymore. Yeah. But, but if it's just fun and funny, I'll do it. Fun and funny. Most of the time. Don't get any ideas. <laughs> <laughs> most of the time. Am I the coolest, most oh, fun yeah. one on the show? Yeah, I am. Isn't it a tapeworm, though? Johannes had him. It's so a tapeworm? I don't, I don't no, spread lies. I did not have tapeworms. No. You did not get I booty worms. worms. I did have worms. Made your butt itch when I was a little kid, girl. Tell you what, my mom told me it was because I chewed my fingernails, and it made me stop chewing my fingernails, so I'm kind of thankful. It probably was that, right? Because you had dirt under your fingernails. Probably. I don't know, but that's what my mom told me, and I yeah. was like, never chewing my nails again, and I didn't. Still haven't to this day. Still haven't to this day. Nope. I try telling my husband that because he chews his nails and it doesn't. Oh, work. I chews them way too down, far down too. Yeah, I know. Oh, I bit one the other day. Oh, you're a nail biter as well, aren't and you? It, it went down the side. Oh, it oh, still hurts. Okay. It's so annoying. Let me see your fingernails. You know, Kyle got worse. I thought at first your your hands were shaking that bad. I didn't know you're moving. <laughs> no, I did. <laughs> I didn't know you're moving your finger. I'm oh like, what gosh, the hell really is wrong with his fingers? <laughs> Spirit fingers, man. Spirit fingers. That worm is actually a larva from one of two types of moths. Larva? Mm -hmm. Ooh, larva's a gross word. The worm itself is actually a moth Would you do it, Gary? No. Ever? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, Never. Why? I just don't think I would. I don't don't see the need. (laughs) Very logical. Some think the worm in the bottle started as a marketing ploy to get people to drink more mezcal back in the 1940s and 50s. What if everybody is there, you've been drinking, and they're like, shot, 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 take the worm. And I everybody's going to, gonna, and if you say no, then everybody's going to go, aww. You think that's going <laughs> to bother me? You think that's going to bother me? You're, oh, everybody could see you. Are huh? you shaking your knees? Guys? Yeah, sorry. Good God. Just filling in for Nelly. Shaky hands. That was even worse than Nelly. That was worse. Why? Wow, you got a strong shake. Yeah. Mm, wow. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, no, I would not do that. Kyle, I think I might have to go take a nap. Take one, bro. I'll pick you up. You want me to wear a suit? For what? To be your chauffeur today. No. <laughs> Just come honk the horn. Uh, You're going to have Kyle pick you up? Yeah. You He's going like to go to the together. Like it's Nelly on the way. For you. He didn't, though. I know. That's why he said that. <laughs> He's so selfish when it comes to that. Why buy your house? You say that, but I mean, he he didn't think of it, but you he would do a lot for me. I think I think so. I think you're right. I think so. I think I agree with you. But you would have to ask for him to do it. He wouldn't turn it down. That's my whole point in it. Is he right. doesn't think about it without no, being told about it. Right, right. But that doesn't mean that he's like intentionally. But you're doing the same it. way. What do you mean? When he was going through, and he's still going through the divorce, he had hard times. He had red eye, pink eye, worst case doctor I'd ever <laughs> seen. I called him like every day to make sure he was okay. And I had to call you 
and say, check in on him I because say, you were not thinking about him just I, like he don't think about you. First of all, you have way more time on your hands than I do. Secondly, you know that the only reason why you called is you didn't want to be in the note. You didn't want to be in the note. I think he'd still put me in it. I still think he'd put me in it. He put you in there in some way, somehow, I think he would, yeah. for sure. But not like he looked up to me or anything like that. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> you guys in the will now? Oh, my God. Does that mean we have to pay his debts off? No, yeah, right? I think you just got to take care of the kids. <laughs> yeah. No. Nope. No. Nope. I can not I couldn't. It'd be hard for me to watch somebody else's kids. You just want to watch them the same, right? Just because you know they're not yours? Uh, I think I would learn to love them. You would learn to love them? Yeah. But not like my own, but like stepkids. <laughs> unless you're looking, unless you're looking for kids, right? That's but if someone's like, hey. <laughs> I'm just playing. Like my no, you're not. No, I no, am. Yes, I am. Playing. Yes, I am. My stepdad no was like my real dad, and not even my dad. You know. But you so think I that you're capable me. of doing that? I have it in me. I don't what? think you do. I just told you an example of how I have it in me. No, you don't have it in you. How do you have it? in You were loved by someone. You weren't loving someone. Yes, I loved my stepdad. But that's different. More like a dad than my real dad. No, it's the same. No, it is not the same. As a child, it's reverse though. A child it's a up loving down. a stepdad is different from a stepdad loving the child. Dang, so Becky. It's easier for a child to love. Becky just sent me a picture of her tequila stash. What? She got a stash. She got some tequila. It's hang. It's hang, girl. No way. I got sick on this stuff in college one time. Did upside down margaritas, and they were not doing the margarita mix. They were the just what? doing the tequila. What? We did upside down margaritas. I don't know what that means. What? what does you that you mean? lean back in a chair like this, and, and they have margarita. tequila on one side and margarita mix on the other, and they pour it in, and then they push the chair quick, and it's supposed to mix in your mouth and you swallow it. That's disgusting. So we were doing. It they with push the chair tequila. quick. No, yeah. I would not do that. That's, see, that. That to me sounds dangerous. I think some places like spin you too. Yeah, Kyle knows what I'm talking about. No, I never did any of that. So I, you guys act like I'm crazy. You two are crazier than me. My first trip to Mexico was on my honeymoon. I'd never been to Mexico before. Really? Yeah. That surprised me and been to Tijuana. No, I like just it do, didn't sound fun to me. Yeah. Just was never. I'm scared to go to Mexico. Let's go to Mexico. You should be. Yeah, I'm really scared. By yourself? No, even with someone. First of all, this is something about me. When I travel, I like to go off the beaten path. It's not a good thing. Like when we were in Jamaica, I like left the resort. That's scary. Cause... I know. You shouldn't do that. See, and I would like to do that, but then I feel like I would get captured. Yeah. They, they, oh, don't they do a lot of capturing? There? You should go to places where you can do that. No. Get captured. It's less fun. <laughs> <laughs> you would be, I mean, this is a compliment, but it's not. It's not something we want to talk about or think about. But you'd be premium choice. <laughs> like they captured you if you're on, like, on the... <gasps> <laughs> You know what I mean? Like if they put you on tour or whatever? No, this is the thing. I'd be too feisty, I think. On you know what tour? I mean? I don't know how to say you without know what saying I mean. it. He's talking about yes, trafficking. Uh, trafficking. <laughs> they trafficked her around. Yeah. She'd be top shelf. <laughs> Some jokes just shouldn't be touched. <laughs> I'm just saying. That, that's why I said it was kind of a compliment. No, I like it. I like it. I'm going to put that in my bio. I'd be premium <laughs> trafficking choice. So. On a resume? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Accomplishments? Mm. Yeah. I, I kind of want to, like, I did know what it's Christina. like to get captured to see if I could talk myself out of it. Talk, You know what I mean? Like I don't think you me, could. I don't think you talk yourself out of it. Yes, I think you can. I think you can. I've seen you flustered, and you just get, like, you're just so spastic <laughs> when no, you get I flustered. Yeah, you are. You're, like, everywhere. I would not be spastic. I would be, I would, like, flirt hmm. with them to get out of it. I would think Make them trust what me. I would, yeah, I think that I would act... I don't know. What would you do? Claudia says, I think I, I would act like I didn't know how to talk or something. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like if I was they just from the woods. Get rid of you. They'd just be like, see ya. Huh? They'd probably get rid of you then. Like in a bad way. Bye bye. Night night. See you later. You don't later. think so? Maybe. <laughs> if you couldn't, <laughs> why would, <laughs> how would not talking be helpful? I don't. Oh, man. Wait a minute. <sighs> Yeah. <laughs> Claudia says, I love doing upside down margaritas, especially at the sidetrack. Oh, it's not here anymore. 
Was that a bar? Yeah. 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 Burned down or something. I can't remember. It's right there on uh, O Street. Jamaica is supposed to be worse for kidnapping and killing, though. Is it? No. They're nice. They love tourists because... They do not like tourists. Yes, they do. Um, I had a friend who was Jamaican. They told me they like tourists. Who? Those people at the resort? No, my homie's on the bus. I think. <laughs> so that we pay their bills. That's a, Their primary income is tourism. Where does that money go? It stays on the resort for the most part. I and that resort is not owned by Jamaicans. I'm here to tell why, you. Why are you here to make me feel bad? <laughs> Same with Hawaii. Land was taken from them people. <laughs> Stay at the Marriott. Guess what? That money ain't going to the Hawaiians. Oh, yeah, you didn't. Yeah, you have nothing to say. What is this true? Even all the fancy restaurants in Hawaii oh are like gosh. owned by corporate companies. Yes, yeah. You got to find those small little mom and pop places. Yeah, food's probably ten times better too. Oh, Drew, those are cute pictures. The boy. I'm walking his daughter to school. Oh. Very sweet. Sam. That's very sweet. See, Sam now I would think Nelson being a radio dangerous. broadcast professional. He do it live. We would have had picked live, yes. I told him he could bring his microphone in his car. <laughs> but I would think that How? he would. He could not do that. Are you on his Instagram page? Did he do something? Yeah. He's uh Nelson? First day of school. Romy, why don't you have your seatbelts on? Oh, don't tell me. <laughs> I think he's I think he's in the drop off area. Oh. Looks like he's in line waiting in drop off. Mm. So you put it in the what? Where'd you put the? It's in Gary Nelson today's folder. Okay. Eight seventeen. Wow. Titled impersonation theater. Oh my son! Wait, today is Tuesday. Yes, ma'am. Hmm. I was looking at the pictures of Drew sent, and it just keeps going after like the fourth one, and it's just like a picture of Drew with his shirt off and sunburnt. <laughs> uh. First day of school today for Omaha. That's where uh, Nelson lives. He did part of the show today from his house. Dropping his kids off at school now. Thought maybe he would share a picture or something that we could share with you. I don't see anything. Are you on his Instagram page? What are you seeing over there? Uh, just on his story. Just He was in the drop-off lane. Yeah. Getting ready to drop off Roman. But Jeez. that's it. Nothing else. Nothing too exciting, no. I he'll post a picture later. He always does the the sign that says what year they graduated yeah, or something like we that. We were hoping that we would see the sign, but there was nothing, no sign there. I know. We never did the sign. I saw the uh, sign. Yeah. I probably won't. Oh, he must be. Is he listening right now? Because he just sent a picture of something. He did? Yeah. Did he text it? Yeah, but I don't know if he did it. Oh, he didn't send it to me? Didn't send it to me? Well, he sent it to me as I'm trying to do something at the Why same time. Why wouldn't he send it to me? <laughs> I don't know. Can I just, let me see here quick. I'll give you my phone and you can look at them. Okay. There they are. Can you describe them? And then we'll share, we'll give them to Kyle and Kyle can post them. You know he's not listening. He just sent oh, them as we're complaining okay. to him about okay. him. Okay. Yeah. Penny, oh my gosh. This is really cute because it's like he... It's such a dad poster. It's such a dad made this poster. <laughs> Why? Just look at it. The writing. Oh, like, my <laughs> gosh. Are you kidding me? That's terrible. Uh, Penny. 
first day of second grade. He used a marker. It's it, cute that he did it. Though. No, I'm not taking anything away from that, but it's not. When you see some of the moms and how creative they get with some of these signs. Right. They say, like, my favorite food is. Yeah. And, like, there's cute little, like, drawings. He did right. put a heart. He did. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, he's a single father <laughs> taking his kids to school. I know. This he's doing the, the best single he can. Dad you know what? Sir, I've you know ever what seen in my him? life. You're it's right. Those little, like, uh, marquee That's boards. Cute. Yeah. That he can just, like, put the pins, like, the yeah. letters in. Yeah. Yeah, just so it looks That's better. what he needs. Yeah. pictures are really cute of him and the kids, though. Oh, that's adorable. You're right. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have joined Johanna's side there. That's a little much, Johanna. He's doing the best he can. Yeah, Love he, it. Yeah, he's doing the best he can. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, now, he can work on his heart grind <laughs> skills, though, for sure. He did this morning before he left to take the kids to school. We were lucky enough to get him to do... A uh, impersonation theater, which we're going to share with you right now, uh, earlier this morning, and then it ha- it, it's a tie into school. And uh, Caitlyn Jenner, Caitlyn Jenner has been a bad, bad girl at school, <laughs> and she it needs to be punished for that. And that is what um, that is exactly what she gets from Bill Clinton and from Mike Tyson. Uh, Nelson, if you're new to listening to the show, does all of these voices. So here is today's impersonation theater. Mama was real naughty in class and needs to be punished. This principal's office has the perfect tool. Come here so I can spank you with my long, thick paddle. <laughs> oh, champ, I've been real bad. I prefer to do things the old-fashioned way with a bare hand. So come lay on my lap and get your licks. <laughs> Mr. President, I didn't know there'd be licking involved. That's what she said. <laughs> As a cat's meow in the background. <laughs> Licking his ankles currently. <laughs> well. Oh, Andy Dufresne definitely oh. took his licks, and the hands were always bare. Let's go. Your smartphone is connected to everything. The Froggy 98 app is connected to everything country. Marsha, I had to turn down the radio while taking the kids to school earlier. <laughs> Marsha, it's the kids won't get it. The kids will not get it. Did you, Tammy? Let me look. Just in it to, oh, I see. <sighs> oh, now he sent, oh, look, now he sent him to me. Ask him why he's so late sending them. I'm going to say, why did you just send to Gary earlier? I, can't, I bet when he gets that text, I can just see him go. Oh, you know. <laughs> you know he's going to flap the handle. Uh, Tim Tebow's been released by the Jaguars. Ba, 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 no. Ba, 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 Already? Ba, ba, ba. That's like the first set of cuts. What? Oh, you think he was going to make awesome, it past that? Tammy. Yeah, I thought he'd make it past the first set. I'm sorry, first I heard the handshake. But that was not me. No, I did not have a humble job on it. I bet you I heard my name's Gary. Mm hmm. I got a text. It wasn't from Nelson. What's the problem? <laughs> Earrings. What did he say? What? Where's Nelson? No, he did, did not. Did he really say that? <laughs> did he? Yeah. He didn't say anything to him, did he? Mm-mm. Look at the cobwebs up in the corner. Not that I should be judging. What? Oh, See? my gosh. This is why I don't send you anything, because you just are... Wait, I'm confused, though. Hold on. <laughs> what? Why do you have 168 oh, unread like... text messages? Who? You. He's just oh, as bad I just as don't me. Open them. 168 My, I'm unread. I'm doing good right now. I think I only have like 30. I went and deleted some of those too. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that makes me feel better about? That makes me feel better about you muting me, Nelson. Here. What? You mute us on your text. I do. Yeah, cuz guys are like school kids. It's ridiculous when you get going. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Ding, 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 ding. Because we're having a good conversation that you just don't want to be a part nope, of. I don't I know Hide alerts. I do. I know. I got it's it. Mean, it's I did it the other day when Kyle was on it, too. You know what it does? It makes me sometimes when I want to send you things, I choose not to. It doesn't. 
I know you want that to hurt me, but it does not. <laughs> uh, Can I tell Nelson that Earrings wants to know where he is? Yeah. Okay. Sure. I don't... Are you going to text him that right now? Yeah. I don't see Because he probably should have said something to our boss <laughs> that he's not not only going to be on. I don't judge. I'm not in a good here. Communicator, so you're a terrible communicator. I'm awful. But it's different. You say that in in the same breath that you are just like I don't want you to text me. You know what kills me is you just said the same thing that I said. All I did was repeat like a parrot what you said, and then you get on me when you just said it. Yeah, because there's a difference. I can say it, you cannot. I can just just notice that. Yeah. I think I softened the blow though. Earrings for who? Earrings? Nah, for Nelly. How? Um, I just mentioned that he was. A solo team this morning. Well, yeah, and he was on. He yeah. was on. It well, wasn't like he wasn't well, on the show. He was I said on he the was show. Seven fifty. <clears throat> well, that was rude. You should have said eight. <laughs> 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 well, Gary's like, you're not going to stay out till eight. And he told was, me eight yesterday it, when I called. And asked it him. was seven fifty two when he yeah. said he was going like to go. I know. I, yeah, I'm telling you yesterday when I talked to him on the phone. I said, I said, hey, are you going to be on the whole show? He goes, no, I'm going to leave at 8. I said, okay. So I said, leave the house at 8. So then 752. I said, 752 ain't 8. Yeah, we, we went into that commercial break. Give some grace, man. Yeah. Wait a minute. Are you telling me to give some grace? I don't understand. Yeah. I can only take a man by his word. <laughs> he did not say 750 <laughs> yesterday when we were on the phone. Should he have said 753? He should have said 753. He should have said after that 750 break, I got to get. No, he did not. He said 8. So that way, 10 more minutes of content. I guess you know how hard it is to feel content on this dang cam. That's true. That's true. That's why I'm giving you. you no, know I'm on your team now. Screw that guy. <laughs> <laughs> team Gary ninety eight. Part of it is I'm a little salty because I never took a day off for that. You've said this every year that I've I know. With you. Matter of okay. fact, he and I both gave Kelly, who used to work here years ago, a hard time for taking the morning off. He was a part of that. Oh, I but now loved... he is a part of Kelly and what Kelly did. I would have loved oh yeah. No, I'm I will be taking it off if we're still if we still exist. If we're still a thing. If we still exist. I think it's a special moment in a I parent's life, to... right? Yeah, I think so. Not denying that. All I'm saying is I never did. He's and just I probably jealous. should have. He's I probably should have. Yeah. Yeah, I am. I wish I would have. Mine didn't. Nelson said, I was driving and sent them to the first thread that had his name on it. Why not the first thread that has my name on it? <laughs> Dig it. Oh. I'm being mean now. Now I'm just being You're rude. lashing out, and I don't even know why. I don't either. Sometimes I just do, you know? Yeah, I know. First day with I think if we could add some color to this room, that'd be nice. No, I already have an idea. I have like six ideas. Just so. Here's There's the thing: I have ideas, but I need, but I need money. Can you get Good me money? Luck. We should just. <laughs> can we get a sign for you? And what just you put mean? you right outside, like. We've need money to that. decorate the studio. You know? Did you know what they did to me when I first started working oh, here? Oh, here we no. go. Here we Please go. tell me. It was. Do you remember when the clowns were a problem? Do you remember all this? When the, remember this is crazy to think about. When pe there were like scary clowns yeah, around the world. Yeah, just random. Yeah. Yeah, like mm -hmm. for, yeah. Okay, so we were talking about how not all clowns are bad. Like it's kind of sad that now you're giving clowns this bad rap. So they dressed me up in a clown costume and put me on like the worst corner. In Lincoln, to hold a sign that says we aren't all bad. Where? What corner? 27th and Capitol Parkway. That's not <laughs> one of the worst. That's okay down there. No, you started out on O Street. Did we? 27th and O Street. I was by this scary. I, yes, there was gunshots. And, like, I was by this <laughs> creepy, creepy store. People are coming in. But you in. know what, Johanna? It made stronger, first of all. Did Secondly, we stronger. wanted to see how bad you wanted this job. And you wanted it bad. I didn't, though. That's the irony. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I did, because that's crazy. You got me in my fun days, you know? I know, I know. We're about to get out of here. Tomorrow we'll be back live on the Tracy's Collision Cam on Facebook and on YouTube. Thanks for watching and for listening this morning. We appreciate that. Tomorrow we have uh, Know Your Listener. We're still booking also for Thursday's Why Am I Still Single, if you want to do that. Kyle and I are going to be at the Gittin' Split. 
down in Beatrice today from uh, noon until 2. Dan and Shay tickets, Alabama Marshall Tucker Band tickets, Chris Stapleton tickets. Getting Splits got some deals going on too. Noon until 2 in uh, Beatrice. And an update, Kyle, do you have one on the Foxworthy situation? Johanna, uh, we had last Wednesday, we had Jeff Foxworthy on the show. By surprise, he was a Know Your Listener that we had on that you had booked. That was awesome. So that was awesome. Yeah, even Earrings, who was on vacay, came in yesterday and was talking about how he loved the, the interview. Mm-hmm. So that was that was a great moment. But not only because we had a chance to talk to him, but also he and Johanna had hit it off. And Jeff Foxworthy himself said, Bring your dad backstage to my show, which is this weekend at the Pinnacle Bank Arena. Yeah. You're the booker. You're the music director. You have connections. Is this a done deal? Where are we on it? Because dad's excited. I uh, I sent out an email this morning. Doesn't sound promising. <laughs> and, well, the first email was promising, but I think they're just trying to figure out what PBA wants to do and the promotions people putting it on. So you're yeah. saying whether or not they're going to have backstage access. Yeah. And they may not because of COVID, but it sounds like he's doing that. But I think it's probably, I don't know if it's up to his people or Pinnacle Bank. Yeah, again, I don't know. But I sent an email this morning. Hopefully we'll have an answer soon. I don't see why not. I don't see why not neither. What was that? I don't see why not, not neither. I know that was a bad <laughs> sentence, but that's what I said. I don't see what not neither. <laughs> I know my dad's working on his material, too. Poor guy's probably writing all these jokes. You got to be funny, don't you? In the presence of Jeff Foxworthy, you got uh, to uh, put your the right foot forward. Is that what you said? Best foot forward? Best foot, or your right one, whatever. Yeah, depends on what you lead with. Does he? So you guys, are you do have tickets, so no matter what, you are going to the yeah, show with yeah. your dad yeah. this weekend, right? Are you going to be okay leaving Dane behind? Dane's not coming at all no? to the show with mm. me. So he has, he has a bachelor party. So it's me, my brother... And my dad oh, nice. and his Oh, wife. that'll be a lot of fun. Yeah. So that'll you can leave your brother and the wife behind, and then you and your dad. Yeah. Go. <laughs> Actually, me and my brother were just talking about that because he was like, yeah, I guess I'll just sit back with Lori. <laughs> <laughs> uh, have a great rest of the day. We have a ton of music coming your way here in just a minute. It'll kick off with Gabby Barrett when we come back. Faces for radio. Voice. Ding dong. Okay. Goodbye. See y'all later. Farewell. I mean, I think.